Welcome back, guys. I'm Chris from uh, Digital Village, but also a member of the Oz DeFi Association. I'm here with Mark, one of the co-founders of Not Centralized, and also um, one of the, I guess, one of the big leaders of the DeFi Association itself, managing some pretty cool events that we've had over the last couple of months. I would say. How you doing, mate? Hey, really good. And you know, we we can't do it without you. And I know we said it on one of the other shows, or. or you know, Chris is really important to this as well. And it's weird being the one being interviewed, but I guess we got to do this. Yeah, we're going to switch things up just a little bit. It can't, <laughs> well, can't be about everyone else. It's got to be about you occasionally, mate. Occasionally, yeah, that's that's fine. It that's is fine. weird. Uh, but um, mate, uh, you have been a big part of building out a really awesome community um, from both the DeFi, but also Not Centralized, which is what we're here to talk about today. Um, tell us a bit about Not mm. Centralized, I guess, and uh, what, what type of services it offers and um, how it's come to be. Yeah, well, Not Centralized is a Web3 venture studio, and we're doing a whole lot of things in terms of different services for anyone that's got a Web3 project. So it could be anything from customer experience, which is what you take care of, yep. to running events and um, even building the community. If you need your Discord built up and all that, which is very important because this space, much more than Web2, you need a really strong community behind your ideas. And then we also do the smart contract development, front end and back end development, because some of these solutions, it's not just all the smart contracts, you actually need like a database and there needs to be people that are doing stuff on chain and off chain. We've got legal as well and accounting. We've even got people that help raise capital. We've got a whole lot. It's almost like a one-stop shop. Tell, tell me how you're able to deliver such like a, an array of complex and, and interesting solutions for businesses. Like how, how has that come yeah. to be a, a, an amazing service for the business? It, it's kind of funny because it came out of the Oz DeFi Association, which was just a group of say 20 people back in October, November last year, just yep. chatting about DeFi. And then we said, well, maybe we need to open this up to more people. And from getting to know different members of the community around Australia and especially here in Sydney, we just found that there's folks that are working in this space, working at it alone, so that when customers were coming to them and they needed more than just their own experience, they would just within their own network find someone. Then these guys would find someone within their own network. So for the customers, it was um, just this lack of ability to have a one-stop shop. They have to find people themselves mm. and experts themselves. And for the people that you know came to be working all with us, we kind of, some of us had known each other before Web3, and now we've all kind of dived in together into Web3, and some we've just met along the way. And we're just very lucky to find these people who really resonated with our idea around collaboration and working together to solve problems rather than all of us working alone. You know, it's, it's a very different mindset. It's such a great thing, because like it not only is the collaboration which makes you know, work within businesses and with individuals so much more fun and important. Yeah. Um, but looking at it from, I guess, the solution side of things, when you are delivering work to business, it allows them to scale their solutions or scale their well, their needs in a much more meaningful way, right? They can, yeah. rather than having to go to, say, a large consultancy and mm. say, hey, we need this job done, and, and they get thrown with six people at some exorbitant price ranges and, and rates and lengthy times of solutions, you're able to scale out your solutions in a, in a much more meaningful way, which means it could be faster to market or faster to certain solution uh, touch yep. points, um, but also, you know, a, a better community of people who are able to do a much larger array of things rather than just that that one outcome that's that's the goal really yeah. so i think yeah we're, we're trying it's it's you know we've only just started it this year we've already got a few projects under our belt you know so i think uh we'll just continue we'll continue adding more services and more projects and that's really the key just like helping people get stuff done because it's you know, we're all paving the way in terms of doing this. This Anyone that's working on a project or anyone that's consulting in this space, you are one of the first people to be doing stuff in this space. So consider yourself a pioneer. 100%. That's really awesome. Um, so I guess, I mean, you kind of did touch on it, but that. I guess like the purpose of it all, like, yeah. so why, why is it that you've built up this business? And why is it that, it, I guess, why is it that you find the industry and the services that we're focusing on, you know, that Web 3.0 space, why do you find that so fascinating? Um, well, I think it, you know, boils down to two words, which is better together, right? And whether not cheesy at all, not cheesy <laughs> at all. Um, you know, we've got the cheesy slogans. No, I love it. Like, it's so good. Uh, yeah, well, it, I, it encompasses everything. It's like it's, yeah. which is what you said. It's the community. It's the awesome work, and it also it's like there's honesty and meaning between people when they do when they have some slogans like that. It's not just like 
just putting people together, get some shit done and, exactly. and get your foot out the door. There's like actual purpose behind behind the collaboration aspect of things. We're really key on that because like imagine a situation where normally you would, um, in web two, for example, you might consider of oh, someone else that, take for your example, right? Yep. Here's someone who's doing customer experience and then, oh, I'm doing customer experience too. The idea, the ethos in this space about better together is that, well, if you combine forces, if that is a situation that comes up in a project, mm. you could learn off each other. One might be the lead and you're, you're supporting them or it might be the other way around. But the point is, is like, how do we actually come together to make it a better solution rather than compete? There is going to be competition. We understand that. But as much as possible, better together is an all encompassing thing. It might even go across to the customers too. The customers might feel like, hey, actually, you guys know these people over here. We could come up with a better solution together. So it is this pervading kind of mindset that you want to leak out into various areas. It's not just how we work together to deliver solutions, but even on the customer side, how could they possibly be part of our network and discover something bigger than they were first thinking about? They might think our idea is to get from A to B, but if we work with these others, now we can get to C, D, E, F, you know, all together at the same time. It's amazing what happens when you think collaboratively. And, and so important for the, uh, the space that we're looking at in that web 3.0, whether it's, or even DeFi in itself, yeah. that it is constantly changing, right? And yeah. unless people are collaborating and helping and learning from each other, you end up stuck in this, like, this very narrow view of something that is really, really wide from an opportunity point of view. Yeah. Um, so also align Especially really now, quite right? Like given where the markets are right now, we're recording this on the 17th of June, 2022. Yeah. Um, it's not the most favorable time for the markets, but it's almost like this is actually a good opportunity. Right? So it kind of leads into one of my next questions, which is like, how is the current climate affecting, <laughs> I guess, the type of work that we're doing, right? We look at yeah. the, the, the current state of blockchain, the current um, and cryptocurrencies crashing left, right and center. Mm -hmm. One of the lowest dips we've had in, in a good few years since, you know, way back before the last boom. Um, yeah, so how, how is market impacting the type of work that, I guess, we do in this association we, we are seeing uh some things kind of slow down a little bit because some projects may be getting put on hold but if you look back the previous um crypto or DeFi winters as they've called it those have been the best times to build mm. because the market eventually will go back up as people you know we this is a good chance to clear out a lot of the things that aren't that nice in the space the things that are only there because they kind of run on ponzinomics they're only there because so they're yeah. waiting for the next person to buy off them and stuff like that. There yep. is no utility or there's limited utility. And look, uh, the way that we see it, and we say this in the association as well, the DeFi association, that we see three types of projects being the ones that are built on memes and they're only popular because of FOMO and Ponzinomics. There are those that got popular on that, but then they're actually building the utility in now. And then there's those that are, they start off from utility and they start off building, you know, whether it's to do with the real world economy, supply chains and making transactions more efficient with blockchain technology, which we haven't seen enough of, mm. but we're trying to, you know, bring that um, to the market with the projects that we work on. So we see that this is the right time to be building, to be investing into this space um, for the VCs and other investors. And also it just means that there's going to be a lot of, um, you know, when this space evolves and you set your baseline, you set the infrastructure up, the fundamentals of what the future could be, this is like the time that you look back on, you'll be like, I'm glad that we got in when we did. So we see people still building. We see people not affected by the price. The ones that are affected by the price are the investors. And yes, it is hard, but regulation is gonna be coming in to have some more protections around it's that. And we're learning really fast. This is a, pla a place where if mistakes are made, unlike in Web2, it's not very transparent. You don't know why things failed, but in here immediately you can go on chain and you can see what has happened, whether it's a scam or it's a failure in um, managing money like Celsius and other things. So mm. it's it's amazing. Very much so in the DeFi space in yeah. particular. It's, I think it's, it's almost a way you can look at it is if for people who missed out on, you know, in commas, the early adoption yeah. phase that happened many, many years ago, we're kind of at that another point where earlier people who missed out on that can come in now. So yeah. This is like a second a second round for people to get that early adoption step in and benefit financially in the long term, Massively. potentially. People think that, um, oh, you know, so early adopters, maybe I've missed out and stuff like that. Yep. But you've got to think about this. This is don't, don't worry about the cryptocurrencies and the tokens, the protocols. These are like startup projects, basically. Yep. And they're building on this amazing blockchain technology that is decentralized. 
and this way of building things that is so open source that it you know you don't start from scratch you're building on the backs of other giants you're building your own giant thing and then other people are going to build and iterate on that and we're all learning from each other this is the first time in history where we've got such a widely connected world where we're all learning off each other to make things better and it's yes there are some things that will pull us back sometimes but net net this is a far more positive space than just leaving things as a status quo. I think it's it's uh, touching on the building on the you're know, standing on the shoulders of giants type of scenario yeah. is the something I always say as a as a CX person and dealing with a lot of creative um, act activities and solutions is there's no such thing as a as a new idea, yeah. just a better one, right? Yeah, you're just building on you're building on other ideas to in a unique, in a slightly unique way, but it's never new and game changing. So. Um, or very, very true words. I like that, yeah. Um, I guess uh, last, like just wrapping things up, I mean, we had a great conversation here, is just yeah. how do people get in touch and find out about the association and, and what you guys do? Well, first of all, for Not Centralized, I mean, we've got the website, so that's notcentralized.com. And we've also got Twitter, so you can find us at Not Centralized as well. And this is all for the work and stuff. Right. But then, um, you know, the other thing is like people can come to us through the DeFi Association. Mm. So it's at AUS DeFi on Twitter, but it's DeFi.org.au on the website. And we have a button there, you know, big prominent call to action button, join the Discord because the Discord is where a lot of the conversation happens really. So we've got these different avenues for people to get in touch. The emails are all on there. And I guess the key is that we've got this menu of services. So people might come in and they only need certain things. That's fine. Talk to us just about that. Or maybe it's an early stage idea. We will help you validate it. Like we've got some very good people in our group that we'll be talking to over time that basically will poke holes in the idea. And the reason we do that is because we want to see- In a positive what, way as well. It's in a positive like, way. Yeah. It's positive, constructive, neutral exactly. criticism because we want you to see you know, what we've seen because a lot of us have been building or are building our own projects. So we've seen these things and experienced the highs and the lows, both from a web two and in a web three world. So yeah, that's the key. And, and from an as Oz DeFi uh, perspective, mm -hmm. like it really is an amazing community. Um, and not only the community that we have online, but the, yeah. the events that you run um, once a month. What 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 days do we usually expect those events to occur? Like if, yeah. I, can't, if I don't wanna get directly in touch with everyone going through um, dealing with say not centralized, I'd love to check out the events and sure. check out the network. Like how do I go about doing that? So on Meetup, we've got a page. So Australian DeFi Association is the page. Um, but then the end of the month, so the last Wednesday of each month is when we aim to have our meetups. It does uh, change, like holidays, all that type yeah. of stuff is changing. Like even last week, Monday. <laughs> oh, exactly, exactly. So we, we try to do it around then. We're filming here in the Crypto Hub studios. Usually that thing is on in the background. It's a yep. big eight meter Samsung TV. It is a phenomenal looking screen as well. Like, Very lucky to yeah. have that. But um, yeah, we usually do it at the end of the month. Um, check it out on Meetup. If you join the Discord, we also advertise it in there so that people can see it. But the cool thing is you don't have to be here physically in Sydney in person. It's online as Streamed well as live. streamed live and exactly. we record it and we put it up on YouTube. So if you've missed out on that day or that evening, you can just watch the recording. So, and thanks to Chris for doing that as well. <laughs> but we'd love to see you all in person because it's a, it's a fantastic experience, fantastic group of people That's it. Um, and, and great for networking as well. So Mark, thank you very much, mate. It's been, it's been a pleasure. Um, thanks for talking about all things Web 3.0, Oz DeFi, and most importantly, not centralized and, yeah, and stay tuned and we'll have some more content soon. Perfect. Thanks, Chris. Cheers. Hello. Hi. Oh, what the? By the seashore. She sounds silly by the seashore. Hi, I'm Chris. <laughs> I'm Chris. Hi, Chris. Um, what do we call the show? Yep. Three. <laughs> oh God. Uh